guys, it's me Lexi. I'm so excited to do my very first video today and to introduce my channel to you. If you like all things fashion, makeup, DIY, and decorating, this is going to be your new favorite channel and I'm definitely the girl for the job. I was going to do my video outside today, however Nashville's completely covered in snow, so I'm doing it indoors and utilizing my snow day. Um, I'm going to do a couple of different looks for spring and give you a little bit of a guideline on the spring trends and what to look for this upcoming fashion season. I'm going to talk really quick about my current look. This is the look that I'm going to be using throughout the video and with all of the different style outfits that I have. Um, my makeup is from Smashbox. I use all things Smashbox because I just really love the quality of their makeup and it's a little bit pricier but it's worth it and it lasts for a really long time. Um, for my eyes I used um, this really awesome plum color. Plum lipstick and plum eyeshadow are really really big for the upcoming spring season. It's definitely a big trend but I used this color here which is called Black Current and it's in my Smokebox Smoky Eye palette absolutely love it. Also, I am using the liquid liner from Smashbox. It's a brown color. It's really, really nice and I like it because it looks a little bit lighter and natural um, when you have a darker eyeshadow. Also, I'm using on my lips the Fig from Smashbox lipstick and it's this really cool plummy mauve color and the great thing about this color is you can add a little bit more of like a maroon red color in addition to the fig and kind of blend it and it looks really really cool it adds a little bit more depth um, also everything Smashbox as I said I'm using full exposure mascara from Smashbox and they're really awesome blush but um, secondly my hair it's naturally dried which is another big trend which is so fantastic for the season because it's less time consuming and it's really really easy you just get out of the shower and just let it dry and it kind of just feels really, really good. And I really like it. Gives a little bit more volume, add a little bit of hairspray, you're good to go. Quick and easy. We're gonna show you a couple of different looks for spring and kind of give you a guideline of the new spring trends. I'm also going to tell you where I got these different pieces and show you my favorite accessories. Flirty skirty, this is my absolute favorite look. This shirt says it all, selfie. I really, really like it. It's very lightweight. I got it at Target, and I got this bubble necklace about three years ago, and I have saved it because accessories are always coming back in style. The skirt is a bubble skirt, and it's super flirty and fun, and I love the print on it, and it's just a really great shape. And I paired it with this blush leather jacket that I got at Forever 21, which is really cool and kind of gives a little edge to the outfit. These shoes are Steve Madden and they are a platform Mary Jane and they're nude and they go with literally every single thing in my closet. They're definitely a good thing to have. So this is the final look, flirty skirty, really adorable, fun, 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 love it. It's actually my favorite look. Flamingo leg. So this is look two, this is easy breezy. This look is literally for every day. It's really quick and easy. You've got a denim jacket. Every woman should have a denim jacket in their closet. If you don't, I definitely suggest getting one. This top is a pico top. It's really comfortable and soft. Look into pico tops. They are great for everyday wear. Um, these pants I actually got <laughs> in the little girls section at Target, which is really cool. Never be afraid to venture outside of your um, section I guess at Target or any store really. Um, I also got these flats at Target and they were on clearance for five dollars which is a total deal so you should definitely check out the clearance sections too. But they're really comfortable and they have this really great bold pattern and I mean nothing says spring like flowers so hey the more the merrier. Here's the final look. So this is a really good transitional outfit. This is the daytime part of the outfit. This is a really nice lightweight flowy white top and I love that it has these little tassels on it. It's very boho and I just really enjoy that. You don't have to wear a necklace, it's just built-in accessories. These shorts are supposed to be pajamas but I just got a size up 
for length and to make them a little bit baggier. Loose patterned shorts are definitely in style for the upcoming season. Here is the purse that I decided to pair with it. It's this neon green yellow bag. It's a crossbody and it's just really nice to add a pop of color to an outfit. And these sandals, I got it off Broadway. They are so comfortable and so sweet and I love that they have these straps all the way around the ankle and it's kind of like bangles for your ankles. <laughs> and my everyday accessory, and I don't wear a lot, but I always wear my Alex and Ani bangles because they are so sweet and sentimental and they just go with everything and I, I really, really enjoy them. So here is the daytime look. So to transition this outfit into evening, it's always nice to just change the jacket and add a different pair of shoes. This jacket has a hood for those, you know, rainy months. Military green is definitely big for this season, and these shoes are awesome. I recommend everybody get shoes like these. They have a low heel, so they're easy to walk in, and they have this really good color that's a very good neutral, and zip closures in the back. They just go with everything, and they're a little bit dressier than a sandal, so it's always good to have a pair like that. Here is the nighttime look. It's school day. This is a really, really great dress. It has lots of different colors you can work with, and it has this little crochet detailing on the bottom. Anything that has boho detail, I really am drawn to. I picked a cobalt blue sweater because cobalt blue is supposed to be really popular this season. It's really, really cozy. It has these great lapels that kind of drape forward and long sleeves. I love long sleeves with sweaters. It's so cozy. And these are the sandals that I was wearing with the previous outfit. And to make it a school day outfit, it wouldn't be the same without a backpack. Backpacks are really great. I like them a lot better than purses because they're just easier to carry around. You have free hands and they look super cute. This plaid, I really, really liked. It's black and white. It goes with everything. Plaid is really big this season again. I like it because it's slouchy and you can kind of wear it over any kind of t-shirt. I like to tie it to make it look a little bit more feminine. And these jeans are awesome. I have maybe 10 pairs of them. They're $9 at H&M and they are fantastic. You just kind of cuff them up to give them a different look. And I added these really cute platforms and you can add any kind of shoe, but I just really like a nice platform. It kind of dresses up a casual look. Here it is, denim and plaid. Spin, 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 ta-da! And there we go with tying it. It just looks so cute tied. I love that. There we go. Denim and plaid. Guys, it was so much fun. Oh my gosh, I loved everything that just happened. Um, please like, comment, subscribe, and share if you would. That'd be very, very appreciated. Um, comments too. Let me know what kind of videos you want to see. If there's a DIY that you have kind of seen on Pinterest, let me know and I can walk you through it. Also, if there's a different makeup look that you like, the Grammys just happened and there's lots of really, really amazing looks from that that I can probably do. So let me know, keep me posted, and I will see you again soon. Thanks so much. Bye!